everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm here with some Dragon Age Origins. We're gonna talk to Wynn again. Um, do you have any regrets I at all? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past. Tell me what your character quest is. That's what I'm trying I'd to get at. Mad if I did that, but I do have one regret. The greatest ah, step here we go. of my life made even more grave because it had dire consequences <coughs> for someone else. Uh oh. Tell me, it might make you feel better. Years ago. I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anarin. He was my first apprentice. Anarin was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages, and he was okay. very mistrustful of humans. D D I, I, humans I wonder why. Let me see how this could be trouble. What Anarin needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell, so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected oh him from boy. Him too <laughs> I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings, and he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential just to be difficult. Um, and what did he think of? <laughs> And what do you oh, think of your dad? Yeah. to think. I was a He's like, you were such a jerk. <laughs> he might have thought I was a demon in disguise. You cannot plant crops in the cold, wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Patience is what is yeah, needed. Yeah, pretty much. And I learned that too late to help him. What happened to an Aaron? Aaron ran away from the circle one night. I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery, and oh no. they hunted him down. And he's dead then. They called him Maleficar, a mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood. Did they have any proof that he was a Maleficar? I the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor, and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. That was cruel. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed in Aaron. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometimes, and the Dalish. He always oh. talked about looking for the Dalish oh. elves. Oh, 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 he went to the Dalish. Um, maybe he did find the Dalish. The Templars are well trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. The apprentices that came after Anarin benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he And then you abandoned your current one. <laughs> I um, maybe a sacrifice is worthwhile. And there it is. My story. My one greatest regret. Well, we're gonna have to fix that, aren't we? <laughs> New quest, Wind's Regrets. What's on your mind? <laughs> Okay, is... not really anything else to ask. So, Liliana, you have anything to say? Something I can help with? Nope. Um, Sten? Yes. Oh, right, I have to give people uh... gifts first. Durr. Okay, gift. Backpack. Gift. Gift. I'm keeping all these gems for a reason. Don't... Where's the book? They should have gone to... When I restarted the game, did I leave it? Shit. You know what? Wins, wins, wins likes us a lot. So as long as we can keep Win happy, we should be good. Yeah, I'll just have to remember to go grab that book next time when I'm... Once I heal Earl Eamon. Because I'm going to be in Redcliffe anyway, I can get it then. Okay. Alistair, we have... Oh, he is at 100! Okay! 
A stone dragon statuette? Is that for me? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, he's at 100. Okay, we're gonna have a conversation with him. Um, eventually. Anything for you? No? Sten! Unexpected. Thank you. Yeah. And then a bunch of stuff for Augur and we have, when we eventually get that man. Okay. Talk to me, Sten! You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Uh, thanks? Um, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome! So, will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. Yeah, yeah, I mean, talk to Wynn about that. She knows all about it. <laughs> um. Exactly what I happened. I told you before that I was sent here. Mm -hmm. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until okay. the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. Uh-oh. Um, what happened to the other Kunari? Oh, uh, it sounds like what happened to me at Ostagar. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. You probably dropped it on Perhaps. the battlefield. I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Um, did the farmers know where they it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe I did. them? I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Uh-oh. You panicked over a lost that blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Oh, so he, could, he can't return without his sword. Right, I forgot about that. Mm. Couldn't you search I for it? Where to look? It would be in my hand now. Mm. Where did you find the darkspawn? Don't worry, Perhaps we'll find it. Those words are empty, but thank you all the same. I will find your swords then. I've done this before. Wow, he really likes me now. You called. I have a question. I'm hardly surprised. Do you find Ferelden very strange? Lightly. No one has a place <laughs> to here. To put it lightly? Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Um, is there anything you like about Ferelden? Well, there is interesting food here. Interesting food? Thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things, like bread, but sweet and crumbly. Um, cookies? Yes, we have no Stan such likes things in our cookies. Lands. <laughs> this should be remedied. <laughs> this should be remedied. <laughs> I will get you some cookies that you can take back. You sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. <laughs> you left out rotting garbage. <laughs> True. I was trying to forget that part. Shall we move on? For all the it's all that bad. Um, don't the Kunari ever want to change what their lot in life? Accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. Mmm. But that makes the turtle stronger. Does it? It's also his weakness. If he stumbles and falls over, it pins him on his back. It is better to armor yourself with no more than what you need. One life, 
one duty. Um. Don't you think happiness you can is important? Learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. That's the same thing There's that no Wynn said. To search for it. Shall we move on? Speak, Discuss something you mentioned. Then I suggest Nothing. we move on. Okay, yeah, let's wish. go. Yay! Wow, he really likes me now. Yay! Stan likes me. Stan likes me. Stan, 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 Stan. Uh, I have some questions. Doesn't have Apparently, I don't have any questions. Never mind. Mm, let's not talk to Morgan just yet. I have this feeling I'm gonna piss her off if I do. Okay, and since I'm. Nah, I'll do that later. Mm, let's. Oh, right. Outfit people. That's what I need to do. Um. Let's see here. Got anything for you? Nope. Nope. I need to give. <laughs> I need to give Alistair a sword. Um. <coughs> let's see. Oathkeeper, the sauce. Mm, no, let's keep Oathkeeper. Okay. So nothing for you. Nothing for Shay. Wait, what? Uh, oh wait, that's why I have equipped. Dirt to dirt to dirt, hunt to dirt to dirt, dirt to dirt to dirt. Ooh, are these better? Yes, yes, they are. They are much better. <laughs> okay, Alistair. Let's give you. Wait, what? How? Uh, how? Guys, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, guys, I looked up, and apparently that's a glitch. You can actually return the sword, but if it's equipped on a current party member, it doesn't actually disappear from your inventory. So I guess we've technically finished the quest, but uh, he still has the sword. <laughs> okay. Um, Sasiel sword. It's not as good. I will accept that, though. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? Free sword. Let's see here. Oh, it's better than the shield of high ever, but I want to. Okay, fine. It's not as good as mine. My family's shield and stuff. Play commander's armor. Not as good as my heavy chainmail in terms of Tia. That is massive armor. I'll give him more armor, but I'll give him a lot more fatigue. Eh. Let's see how it looks. Oh shit! <laughs> I like the look of this one. It's wearing this one. Okay. Yes, I just decided. Based on aesthetics. Shush your face. Okay, now let's go to Bowdoin. Bowdoin Fiddick. I need to talk to you. Loading. Are you sure I can't interest you in it? Let's see your stuff. Okay. Take the things I don't want. Not that. I um, don't really use those. Or that, or that. That. Keeping these, I'm not take, not getting rid of those, <coughs> or that because blood dragon. I can find somebody who can use it eventually. I'll keep these. I don't need the Mabari crunch. I never use dog. Keep those. Um, keep all of these. Okay. Let's see if I can get anything put onto any weapons. Sandal! Enchantment. Damn straight! Enchantment! Aww, he's so cute! Okay, let's... Um, this one. There we go. Alright, that's gonna be it for this session. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Dragon Age Origins. When we next return... 
we are going to go and pay a visit to Brother Genitivi. See you later!